the pattern that I've seen in, in AI on the kind of research and technical side is that what we've seen over and over again is that there's what looks like a wall. There, you know, it looks like AI models can't do this, right? It was like AI models can't reason. And recently there's this AI models can't make new discoveries. A few years ago, it was like AI models can't write globally coherent text, which of course now they yes, yes. obviously can. You go back a few more years and, you know, it was like this Chomsky thing of like, you know, they can get syntactics right, but they can't get semantics right. And every one of those has been blown through. I think people are very attached to the idea that they want to believe there's some fundamental wall. There's something different, something that can't be done. It kind of reminds me. You think it's a coping of, mechanism deep down? Yeah. You know what it reminds me of? So you know the the 19th century notion of vitalism. Mm -hmm. um, you know, this was the idea that you know the 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 human body and and you know like like organisms that are alive are made of a fundamentally different material than inanimate matter, um, which of course we know scientifically now is is not true, but. Um, it's something people very much want to believe and your common sense seems to suggest it. Like I'm not very much like a table. Yes. Um, I've made of, you know, very different, very different materials than metal or glass or whatever. Um, but you know, when we actually go down to the fundamental units, of course, we're all made of the same thing. But you think people now have this kind of modern concept of vitalism in whatever the, the fundamental humanity is and they're saying, oh, you know, models can't do that. I think there's some, yeah. I think there's some tendency to, to, I think there's some tendency to believe it. And I think, I think as with vitalism, the way around it is to, is to, you know, is to, is, is to recognize that a mind is a mind, no matter what it's made of.